Good day, viewers, and welcome again to another time of Bible study. We pray that the Lord will visit us via the riches of his word as we discuss this day. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Under the theme for the year, the Christian race, and the sub-theme, Ascension of Christ, we'll be looking today at a topic that says, Lifted Up by God. I'm already excited. The import, what it means for God to lift a man. The Lord will help us as we discuss these details. And our aims will be to discuss the factors that led to Christ's uplifting and to expose us to types of lifting. And finally, to discuss the biblical injunctions for God's lifting. What would it take God to lift a man? We'll be studying all those as we discuss today. We're equally blessed to have in the studio today our resource persons, mighty vessels in the hand of God that he's prepared for such a time as this. By my right, the right Reverend Kingsley Obu, the Lord Bishop, Anglican Diocese of Asaba. My Lord, Father and God, you all come to the program. Thank you very much. Good day, viewers, and welcome to this program. It's such a joy to have you. And then by my left, our mommy, Dr. Amal Pepo, a committed citizen of this country, as well as a licensed lay reader in this communion. Mommy, such a joy to see you. Welcome Thank to the you. program. Thank you very much. Good day, viewers. It's good to have you with us. Gather your loved ones, your family, everybody in your neighborhood. God has something to say to us today. And in our tradition, we'll begin today by reading our main text philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 13. i'll quickly take that reading from the new king james version of the scripture let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god did not consider it robbery to be equal with god but made himself of no reputation taking the form of a born servant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to do for his good pleasure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. Introduction. Last Thursday, May 9th, marked the 40th day after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is remembered as the day he ascended into heaven. That we can see clearly in Acts chapter 1 verse 9. Today, being the Sunday after, our study shall be centered on, build, on being lifted up by God. In this study, we want to see being lifted up by God to mean the st he steps in and changes our position or status for the best. I will say this in Psalm 75, see his following, that promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west, but from God. So we are looking at being lifted, not by any man, not by any political party, not by any human institution, being lifted up by God. When God blesses a man, how does it look like? Obededon was blessed of God because of the ark of his presence that dwelt in his house. And Babu said everything in his house was blessed. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. We pray that all of us will be lifted together. And it's interesting to know, you know, this communion, our communion is rich. It's a church that is predicate, or predicated on scriptures, reason and traditions. We are looking at the 40th day after his resurrection. What happened? He ascended. He was lifted. 
may we all be lifted even as we study together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My Lord, what does lifting up and being lifted up in the context of Matthew chapter 4, 5 to 6? Acts chapter 1 verse 9. Mommy, you help us read that. Mm. And then I'll read verse 9 of our main text, Philippians chapter 2. And then we welcome your submissions. Matthew 4, 5 to 6. Matthew chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Acts 1 9. Acts 1 chapter 9 says, Now when he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Verse 9, Philippians chapter 2, I read, Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. What does lifting up mean in the context of all these scriptures? Thank my you very Lord. much. The, for my introduction, we are seeing lifting up as God stepping in and then changing our status for the best. Awesome. That must be at the back of our minds as we discuss this question. Now, from this text before us, first of all, in Matthew chapter 4, verses 5 and 6, we are told that the devil took Jesus up, up. to the pinnacle. Hmm. <laughs> but that taking up was not for good. Hmm. It was to take him up so that he can fall. Crash him. So, in that context, that lifting up is like the lifting up of the devil. Hmm. Because the intention was destruction. Now, in Acts chapter 1 verse 9, we see the account of the ascension of Jesus Christ. My Lord, yeah. That was God lifting Jesus to the throne in heaven. Awesome. To the right side of God the in Father. heaven, which we call ascension. Then in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, we now see the lifting to a place of honor. This one is a lifting by God, hmm. which primarily was referred to Jesus Christ, that God gave him a name, a name. above every, every other, other name. name. So that at the mention of his name, things in heaven, things on earth, and things under the earth, they will all bow. Hmm. They will all respond to the mention of of his name but that again also is a positive lifting by god which can be extended to human beings hmm. so that one is positive lifting because he was lifted to honor hmm. he was not lifted to fall again hmm. so these three scriptures represent three kinds of lifting awesome matthew 4 5 and 6 talking about lifting by the devil which is usually for bad not for good then Acts 1 9, referring to the ascension, ascension of Jesus Christ to the right side of God, and Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, about the lifting of his name. Awesome. Which honor human beings, those who walk in the path of God, can also share. Awesome. Mm. Mommy, your take. I, I, I Very deep insight. I'd like to add that if you look at even our normal lives, mm. when we talk about being lifted, lifted. we are talking about promotion. From mm. a lower to a higher level. Yes. Some people say next level. Next level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a promotion for people even in the service, even mm. in the church mm -hmm. also. Mm. But see the one that the devil was up offering. It was like lifting down, not even up. Inverse lifting. Inverse lifting. <laughs> lifting. He mm. wanted Jesus to fail. He, he, because from that, he get another temptation came and Jesus kept rebuking him with the word of God. Awesome. You cannot tempt the Lord your God. It mm. is written. You know. mm. So you cannot, a whole son of God, want to bring him down. Mm. From the, for, remember, he had gone through a 40 days period of fasting mm. to strengthen himself, both physically and spiritually, awesome. for the work 
that he was going to face. Hmm. You know, you know the, the, the thing in it also for me is the fact that even in our time, mm. the devil still goes around yes. promising men lifting, whereas ultimately it is to crash them. You know, you even quoted scripture for Jesus mm. and say, lest you dash your feet against the mm. ground. Yes. And we see people in our time whom the devil is selling facades to deceit, thinking that ultimately the devil will lift you. In the end, child of God, it is to crush you. May we be exempted. May we avoid such lifting Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mommy, I will stay with you now on question two. Study guide question two. From Philippians chapter two, six to eight, critically analyze the qualities that led to the uplifting of Jesus Christ by God. How can these questions, that's the poser next, how can these qualities help in lifting us up as Christians? Philippians 2, 6 to 8, okay. and then we'll work on your thoughts. I read uh, Philippians 2, verse 6. Who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. What are the qualities that prepared Jesus for this kind of lifting? I will say first one is humility. Awesome. He was humble. And he did not put himself on a pedestal Oh, I'm the son of God, I'm the second person of the Trinity and all that. Hmm. He humbled himself. himself. He came down, he took, and he was obedient to God. He knew that he came on a mission and he was ready to accomplish that mission. He took the form of a man. He forgot about his privileges as the son of God, as deity. Hmm. He took the form of God because as man, we have human limitations. He subjected himself to the suffering, the beating, the lies that were told against him, he subjected himself to all that. And I feel the final one was the shame of dying on the, the cross. cross. He allowed himself to go through that because it was only criminals mm. that they nailed on the cross. Mm, in and as we read mm. in the story, he, there were two criminals who were crucified beside him, mm. one on the right, justly so. Hmm. But not for the Son of God. Hmm. And he did all that in order to save us, to die for our sins. I think those are the very, Little very wonder big qualities. He was lifted. And then the second part that said, how can this help in lifting, lifting us, us up as, as Christians? Christians? I think, was it verse 5 of the scriptures? The passage yeah. we read, uh, let this, this mind be, be in you. you. That our attitude should be that of Christ, the humility he displayed. You know, we are talking about people who go and uh, lobby for promotions. He, uh, my Lord Bishop and I, before we came in here, mm -hmm. you know, he did not lobby for anything. Hmm. He willingly accepted, accepted. the position mm -hmm. and the, the, uh, the project that God gave him to perform on earth. Mm. He willingly accepted it, not minding what he was. A lot of us like to put ourselves, and when we start lobbying for positions, we are not taking up that attitude of Christ. Christ is our standard hmm. as Christians. Awesome. And we should, wherever we find ourselves, make sure that we copy the example he has shown us. See how, what he did, and how God will really lifted them, gave him a name above all names. All names. That at the name, every knee must bow, bow on earth and in heaven. What a wonderful upliftment. Awesome. What a name. What a name. You know, my late mom will say, Jesus is like, there's a way she says this in Igbo, uh, alluding it to one proverb now. If you don't believe in this, eventually you still come back to it. Even if you doubt him, you can't help but accept that his name is above every other name. It started because of his humility. You know, interestingly, many scriptural accounts, gospel accounts, he will perform wonders. And Bible says they want to make him king. He will quickly, no stealthily. He, he, he wasn't quietly. interested in human lifting. <laughs> yes. But today, some of us will struggle. My Lord Bishop, your take. 
what are the qualities we need to learn from Jesus? Yes, thank you very much. To add to what uh, Amomi has said, in that verse 6, where he said that being in the form of God did not consider it robbery. Jesus. To be equal with God. God. He's trying to tell us that the fact that he became a man, he did not lose his sense Hate. of who he was. Awesome. Hmm. Because the second part is asking, how can this help us, help us. to be lifted up as Christians? Mm. His self-esteem was not affected. His identity His was identity convinced. His identity was not affected. Jesus. So, anybody who must be lifted up by Christ, you must know who you truly are in Jesus, Christ. Jesus, Jesus. You must not allow the world system to intimidate you. Hmm. You must not allow it. To give you a different level, to begin exactly. to name you. Because hmm. some of us, why we miss our point of lifting is because we get to a point where we, we no longer trust this way enough. And begin to try to maybe also have to do like this, otherwise this thing may not happen. Jesus. You not do it the way of the world. Jesus. He didn't lose his self-esteem. Hmm. But he became a man. That was why if you check his trials. When um, Pilate was asking him questions, he kept quiet. He didn't say anything. Mm. At the point, it. Pilate said, why are you not responding? Don't you, you know, know I have don't, the power? <laughs> and power. he said, no. Don't you know I have power Pass. either to crucify mm. you or to, or to discharge you. set you free? <laughs> At that point, Jesus couldn't hold it. He now turned to Pilate and said, you have no, no power, power over me. Mm. Unless it's given, given you from you from, from our God. Jesus. When they were to arrest him, the disciples wanted to fight. They pulled a sword, cut off somebody's ear, and he said, Put your sword back, back. to his place. Say, why, why do you fight for me? Do you think I cannot call down angels, legions, Jesus. to come and fight for me? But if I do so, Meaning he had power even that time to do it. But if I do so, how Ooh, the will scriptures the scriptures be fulfilled? Be so everything he went through, he did deliberately. Awesome. Not because he lost sense of who he was. Hmm. So as Christians, we must know our identity in Christ, believe it consciously, operate in it consciously. But in all that, with every sense of humility. Awesome. Very key. Knowing whom you are in Christ, your born identity. Bible said in Colossians 2:10, you are complete in him who is the head of all principalities Principal and powers. powers. You know, sometimes we lose it, and that's why when they begin to shake us yeah. before you know we want to help God, we want to begin to do corner corner things. When you are sure, thank God for our communion. Recently, sometime in the month of April, we had the Joshua generation, and the team was our identity. We need to know whom we are in God yes. so that it will help us to wait for God's kind of lifting. Not the one that human beings will lift you. You know, I've seen people who promise <laughs> some years ago while I was running a master's program in public health, I had a classmate who was telling all of us in class that by the time we are through with this program, he already had something waiting for him because he has an uncle somewhere who is facilitating. Do you know, incidentally, by the time we graduated, that uncle had been removed uh -huh. from there. <laughs> and our brother was back to square one. Mm -hmm. For God, he says it, he accomplishes it. He doesn't depend on any man to mm -hmm. do it. Wait for his lifting. We are grateful God in this is already exciting our heart by reason of the truth that is coming our way. We'll be back in a jiffy to continue. God bless you. Crossfire is a program that treats controversial topics on diverse issues surrounding the family, church and society does it mean if a woman now prays with her hair uncovered god will not honor the prayer should single ladies ask single guys out on a date it's not a sign of desperation okay. it's you knowing what you want mm -hmm. and going for it okay you you can't tell me that, that comedy in the church is wrong by our, if our, you go our through our church of Nigeria hymn now, now you will see so many hymns written by Nigerians. We should, you know, a man is seeing something here, he's going for something else. Mm -hmm. Men are confused. That's why generally. I said you have to help them out.
We are saying something. Okay, sir. okay. I mean, I mean, sir, can you stop a bird from flying? Depending. But we are not institute, we are forgiven. No, you have forgiven, yes. but that forgiveness amounts to a criminal offense. How? How? Hold on. That's, Section that's what seven. My brother, can anybody can be. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? It matters. So. No, 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 no. I'm not saying nobody is destroying any foundation here. Eh? Welcome back again from the break. The Lord has helped us. We're looking at the topic lifted up by God. And during the first course of the program, the Lord established on this mount that everything Jesus did, he did on purpose, not oblivious of his self-identity. And that was why God gave him a name that is above every other name. And we've been enjoyed to have that same mind. We're back and the Lord will help us to discuss further. Recall that I've been in the studio with our resource persons, our Father and God, the Lord Bishop Kinsley Obu, the Lord Bishop of Asaba. Welcome again to the program, my thank Lord. Thank you, thank you very much. And then our mommy, Dr. Amal Pepo. Mommy, you're welcome. Thank you. Question three, my Lord Bishop. Is there anything like satanic lifting? Critically discuss this in the context of Matthew chapter four, five to six. I will take that. And then describe how some people were uplifted in our generation in the context of Numbers chapter 16, 1 to 3. My Lord Bishop, you read that for us. And then, Mommy, verses 32 to 35 of the same numbers. Matthew chapter 4, verse 5 to 6. I'll read that and then we'll kick off from there. Five to six. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. My Lord, number sixteen. Numbers one to three. chapter sixteen, verses one to three. Now Korah, the son of Ezer, the son of Kohat, the son of Levi, with Datan and Abiram, the son of Eliab, and On, the son of Pelet, sons of Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Moses with some of the children of Israel, 250 leaders of the congregation, representatives of the congregation, men of renown. They gathered together against Moses and Aaron, and said to them, you take too much upon yourselves, for all the congregation is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Why then do you exalt yourselves above the assembly of the Lord? 32, 35. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up with their households and all the men with Korah, with all their goods. So they and all those with them went down alive into the pit. The earth closed over them, and they perished from among the assembly. Then all Israel who were around them fled at their cry, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And a fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense. <laughs> <laughs> Very traumatic. Mm -hmm. My Lord, is there satanic lifting? That's on one hand. Yes. Critically examine this in the context of Matthew 4, 5 to 6. And then describe how some people were lifted in our generation in the context of Numbers chapter 16. Thank you. There is satanic lifting. Certainly there is. And... A lot of people have been deceived to accept it. In fact, some Christians have even received it and come to give testimony. Hmm. They, but they cannot say they didn't know it's not God because they know what they did to get it. That's true. Satan offers counterfeit or whatever God offers. Anything at all. Name it. Is it wealth? Is it marriage? Is it children? Name it, Satan offers counterfeit, counterfeit mm. of whatever God has promised in his word. Now, he started it with Jesus. He tried it with him. 
when he took him up. And if you remember the temptations, he told him that if he can worship him, he will give him the whole world. The whole earth. The whole, the glory of them, the riches of them, the wealth of mm. them. Because it has been given to him, mm. he now gives to whoever he wishes. The question now is, who gave it to you? Hmm. You can't give back to your giver. Hmm. Your giver cannot depend on you. you know? So, there is satanic lifting. lifting. That is established. And Christians must be very careful not to accept it. Today, there are people who have gone to Satan for wealth, for children, for protection. All these things are what God has already promised. The scriptures. But because many of us want shortcut the demands of the word of God so that you put yourself where these things can become your portion. We don't want to live like that. Hmm. We prefer to live our lives our own way and then get these things our own way as well. At shortcut. the end of the day, it becomes a shortcut to destruction. Now, in the Bible where we read, we see how Korah and the rest of the people he gathered. 250. 250. How he so convinced them that Moses and Aaron were taking too much. There's nothing special about them. In fact, he made them to believe that the position Moses was occupying, that Moses was the one who lifted himself up. Yeah. And they believed it, and they followed him, and he comforted Moses. I said, you are taking too much. Who do you think you, you are? are? Mm. All of us are holy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and at the end of the day, it proved that they were against God. In fact, Moses said, we didn't read that passage mm. uh, we, because of time. Mm. Moses said, okay, let us know mm. he, who is of God. Mm. Let God come and Let put God his seal of approval. Yes. And he told them, you stay here, I will stay here. And we are told that the ground opened, opened up and they entered and the ground sealed up. Jesus. Hmm. That was instant judgment for a man who lifted himself up. against the will of God, against the Lord's anointed. So there is satanic lifting. We must be aware of that. And then we must not follow the example of Korah as children of God. We must not. And then in other places, in other ways, devil is masquerading and uh, the same people. We must be discerning and allow the word and the spirit of God to guide us, to know suggestions, to accept. Sometimes even within the church, when you have problem, you'll be surprised the kind of counsel. People you people. thought know God very well will give you. Mm. You'll be surprised. So you must be discerning and then know the word of God enough to know what to accept and what to reject because it is a lifting from the devil. You must be discerning. Know the scripture enough for yourself to know that's the poser, that's the clincher from our Lord Bishop. And that's what we try to do on the ACNM platform. To expose ourselves to the truth of his word. So that will be better guided. Mommy, your take. What's uh, Kora and his uh, gang? Kora and the teach. gang now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was just a bit in it. They hmm. were Levites, all right. Hmm. But they had this vaulting ambition. To They wanted to get a higher position. They wanted to get a higher... Uh, power mm. and authority. Why must it all be allowed about Why Moses? Why only Moses and <laughs> uh, Aaron? But because they didn't know God well, they didn't know that their mutiny was a, a challenge hmm. to God. Because God himself has chosen those he wanted to, le to lead his people. Are they time, saying that, that God season. is not no, no longer wise? Mm. And that they as human beings will now come and tell God, God, no. Who, what he should do with his own people whom he created. Hmm. They wanted to be high priests. They wanted to be the leader. And the same thing happens in our society today. Because people kill, bribe, maim, tell lies, do all sorts of things shamelessly mm -hmm. because they want to acquire a certain position. position. Even, I'm sorry to use this, but I think it's a good example. Even 
in the army when people uh, 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 carry out coups. Mm, yeah. You know, some of them don't always succeed. And you see how the, some of them also end ended up. Yes. And mm. this is how what happened. Can you imagine? Because Moses warned them that when the time comes, we will see whom God has chosen. Mm -hmm. If they die natural death, uh, my Lord said did, uh, uh, we didn't read that part. Mm. Yeah. Let's leave it like that. But if something extraordinary happens, and something extraordinary did happen, which God brought upon them, yes. ground open, swallowed, swallowed them, them, fire up. came, burnt themselves. That was self. To add a, 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 to injury. <laughs> injury. Child of God, wait for your lifting. Some of us, because of our vaulting ambitions, like mommy said, we are leading insurrections, even within the church of God, amongst committee of brethren. We want to get it our own way. Wait for God's lifting. Look at Korah and the gang. The ground opened up. So the Bible say fire came from the Lord. You know that day people ran away. People say, lest we also be swallowed up. The fear was palpable. The fear was intense. Wait. You know, for the devil himself, you know, he did similar thing in heaven now. The prince of the morning, the morning light. Yes. And then the thing got to his head. He now wanted and he was condemned. Child of God. Wait for God's timing. Discuss the biblical injunction for God's lifting according to Genesis 41, 38 to 40. Mommy, you help us read that, 38 to 40 of Genesis. My Lord Bishop, Matthew 23, 12. And I take James 4, 10 as we begin to round off. Okay. Genesis 41, verse 38 to 40. And Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a one as this, hmm. a man in whom is the Spirit of God. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. You shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. Hmm. Matthew 23, 12, my Lord. And whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. That's a kingdom principle. James 4, 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. So that humbling must be in the sight of the Lord. That's what guarantees lifting. Mommy, the biblical injunction for godly lifting. If I take the first, the passage we read was Joseph and Pharaoh at the time of the famine. And uh, Pharaoh had a dream. And the people who were in prison with him, one of them remembered that Joseph had interpreted his dream. So he recommended him to Pharaoh. And when Pharaoh, when Pharaoh called him and he gave his advice, yes, during the years of plenty, let's save one-fifth of everything that we shall gather, you know, <coughs> so that we'll have enough food, you know. Joseph would have made a very good economic advisor. Uh, <laughs> at, at, in our uh, times. In our time. <laughs> <laughs> he gave the advice, and the advice he gave showed that God was with him. Awesome. See what Pharaoh asked. That, uh, and Pharaoh, can we find such a one as this? A man in whom is the spirit of, of God. God. The spirit of God with him, was with him. And he saved not only the Egyptians, but even his own family. Mm. When later on, they moved to Egypt. Egypt. When the famine was still mm. quite severe. So, for you and the other passages we read, he that humbles himself will be exalted. I think there's a passage also in Micah. Mm. Micah 6, 8 that says, walk humbly with God. God. You know? mm. So when you are humble, God will lift you up. up. Look at how successful Joseph was Became. in Egypt and how he was able, the advice he gave, the people followed it and he was able to save the Egyptians from the adverse effects of the, uh, mm. famine. the famine that would have befallen mm. him, even his own people. Mm. Awesome. So this is how God, God's uplifting. God is God and whatever he does is perfect. Awesome. So because he was with Joseph, the advice Joseph gave and the people obeyed Knowing that it was God that was leading him. Yes. And the result was a perfect result that saved awesome. life, so many lives. Awesome. So you must be with God. His spirit must be resident in you. You must be humble for you to attract this kind of lifting. My Lord, 
Yeah, thank you very much. To add to what uh, Mommy has said, in that Genesis 41, I want to tell Christians, opportunity has to meet you prepared. Mm. If you must be lifted, hmm. opportunity of lifting must meet you prepared. Mm. Any Christian who is lazy is a disgrace to Christianity. Mm. Mm. Whether you are a businessman or woman, you are, you are a student. There are some Christians who are students who will never finish assignment before the day to be submitted. They will always rush to finish up, to go and submit. But it was given one month before. Hmm. You are disgracing the faith. Uh, look at Joseph. When that opportunity came, he was prepared, not minding what he went through. So would have backslided. Say God is unfaithful. Even the butler forgot him now. He didn't he forgot he got him. into the I forgot. It I was forgot. that dream that provoked him. So Jesus. opportunity must meet you prepared if you must be lifted. Then in Matthew 23, verse 12, he said that if you exalt yourself, you'll be humbled. Now, my take there, if you have to be humbled by another person, that is humiliation. Mm. <laughs> in other words, if you exalt yourself, then humiliation is waiting for you. Hmm, you Jesus. don't need to exalt yourself. exalt yourself. You bring yourself down. down. That's what James 4.10 is saying. By the time you, you get yourself prepared for lifting, like Joseph, and then you are humbling yourself, like Matthew uh, 23, 12 is saying, then James 4 is also saying that you have to wait for God's time. Hmm. Don't say, I humble myself for five years now. There's nothing like that. Mm. God's calendar is not in your hand. Exactly. You must wait for God's time. Time. And he makes all things good and in, he, his, in time. his time. And awesome. when the time comes, nobody, Can't no system, it. no power can stop your lifting. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Great. Wait for God's timing. Humble yourself. That James say, humble yourself before God, not before men. You know, one of our fathers in God in these days is was sharing with us many years ago in St. James Asakoro. Just discussing humility. And he said, the day God told him you are not yet you're humble, on a Saturday, that women came to clean the church. And he came down. The Spirit of the Lord led him and said, go and join the women to clean. He came down from being a curate then. He was living in, within the vicarage. He came down to join them to clean the church. As he was now dust, dust, dusting the pews, doing all that, and was going near the tap to fetch water after dusting the pews, say one of the women, Called him, ah, Reverend, please help me fetch water and give him a He took the bucket. But when he got there to fetch the water, all of a sudden, this pride rose in him. Hmm. Does this woman know whom, he's <laughs> whom she is <laughs> telling <laughs> to, go, to go and fetch water? He <laughs> doesn't know he's an ordained priest in this church. He was teaching us in a Bible study and say, immediately the Holy Spirit convicted him. Man of God, you are not yet humble. Do you humble yourself before men? Do you show eye service when Baba is around, mm. when your supervisor is around? Mm. You are not yet humble before God. It was a lesson for him and he challenged us. And I don't forget that. In a Bible study session, Bible says humble yourself before God. May God help us so that when we humble ourselves, God in due season will lift us up just like David. And Joseph, David waited for his time. All the plotting, all the cravings mm. by King Saul to delay him when it was God's time, yeah. even to kill him, he was announced. Wait for your own time. And then two things I would like to say as we round off. Our Father and God talked about opportunities meeting us prepared. We need Christians in our time that manage their time, that are prepared. Prepared for life and for godliness. Not lazy people who will only think it's all about maybe empty fasting and praying, but we are not committed to work. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your mind. A renowned science says, if there be chance, chance favors only the prepared mind. He was saying, I don't believe in chance, but if there be chance in science, it favors only the prepared mind. How prepared are you? Then secondly, what our Father and God also say, He say, whatever God gives, the devil tries to counterfeit it. Bible say he mimics and presents himself as an angel of light. light. Be guided. Because in our time, we've seen young people who will do what they call in Igbo language now, and it's prevalent in the East, okay, they're looking for wealth. Hmm. They will go and say, we are going back to the root. 
just engaging in idol worship just because they want to be lifted. Child of God, let us be guided. Conclusion. There is no doubt that every good purpose of God has its own satanic version, including promotion. Hmm. We should be very careful to know when Satan is approaching us to improve our lives, which invariably will end in degradation. We can look at Luke 14 verse 11. As Christians, we should always desire the virtues for humility and godliness mm -hmm. so as to be lifted up at God's own time. Food for thought. Beware. Satanic uplift starts with pride and ends in shame. A king woke up one morning, Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. and said, Look at this whole edifice I've built by my own hand. He thought he lifted up in this whole kingdom. He was humbled. Let us beware. He had to acknowledge God. He had to be humbled for seven years just because he mixed it. Another man in the scripture, Acts chapter 2, a Herod spoke so glowingly that they started, this is the voice of God. That got to his head, the height of hubris, worms ate him up. Let us be guided. Memory verse, we read James chapter 4, verse 10 together. Humble, Humble yourselves in the sight of, of the Lord. Lord. And, and he, he will, will lift, lift you up. up. Again, James um, chapter 4, four verse, verse 10. 10. Humble, Humble yourselves in the sight of the, of the Lord, Lord, and he will lift you up. Need I say more? God indeed has helped us. And we have understood what it takes, the qualities that will make a man to be fit for God's kind of lifting. When the Lord blesses a man, his presence goes with that man, and no power of hell can stop that man. Let's wait for God's lifting. Let us endure, because he that endures till the end shall be saved. We're so grateful to our resource persons. God mightily has used them. Mommy, thank you for coming. Thank you very May much. May God continue to strengthen you, Amen. the work you do Amen. for the church, for our country, and for his kingdom at large. The Lord will continue to prosper. And you will grow from strength to strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. My Lord, it's such a joy to have you again. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you for your humility. Much. Thank you for always obliging us. Mm -hmm. And we pray that the Lord will continue to increase the sea of us, Asaba, in leap and bound under Amen. your episcopacy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Child of God, humble yourselves under God and he will lift you up in this season. We see you again, same time, same station, next week. Until then, Keep on living for Jesus. God bless you.